Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, I'm your host, Mrs. M. And if you haven't, make sure you click the link below. That way you can subscribe to my channel and not miss out on anything you need to scale your business to six figures and beyond. Pow! So big investment and small payoff or big payoff and small investment. That's what we're going to look at with government contracts. And in this video, I'm going to actually go into what you need to do probably around three or four easy steps on making sure that you have the big payout and small investment. So the first thing is I'm going to talk about what you need to do if you're not registered in SAMS and what you can do if you are because some people register in SAM.gov and others aren't. So let's first go into if you're not registered in SAMS.gov. If you're not, there is a sweet little deal called micro purchases. Micro purchases, if you followed me at all, you've probably heard me talk about that. And the reason why I love it is because micro purchases require so little paperwork on the contracting officers and that is the person that actually binds the contracts with, between you and the government. And it's also a sweet deal for you because you don't have to wait to get paid. That's right. You can get paid instantly. Now, my first experience with micro purchases were when I did a small contract in D.C. and got paid on the spot because I was concerned how I was going to pay the actual people that were working with me. They, they were some were employees and some were like independent contractors. And any of us that have been concerned when the clock gets ticking down to payroll and we don't have it, that can be quite frightening. So one of the great things about this, it's under 10,000, 10,000 under micro purchase. Now, what you can do with the micro purchase is you can do all kinds of things. This could be services or goods. This could be used when it comes to envelopes and gloves. And when you're looking at low hanging fruit supplies, it could be used for training. If you're looking to do any training and software, if you have an IT company, or if you're doing some logistics when it comes to trucking, there's so many areas. If you're looking to purchase furniture for, like we did some for Veteran Affairs, doesn't matter, P cards are the way to go. And that is what a micro purchase is. It's called a government P card and a no competition. The contracting officer can award it directly to you and you can get paid very quickly. This is one of the, the best ways. 10,000 under almost any good or service that's under that amount can be used and it can be used reoccurring. I know someone that gets paid every month for training, doing training for Word and Excel for a government agency, and they have never had to go through the contract process of a regular contract. They've used the micro purchase. Now I get a lot of people that say, okay, if I'm doing the micro purchase, how do I go about accepting the, the government P card? And one way is to go to your bank and you want to set up merchant services. That's merchant services. I understand that you can also go through QuickBooks and that may be a way that you can do it as well is that you can go through QuickBooks. But I know personally you can go through your bank asked to be set up as a, as a, a merchant services and that can happen boom like that. So the first thing you want to look at when you're looking at a big payout with small investment is a micro purchase. The next is anything over 10,000 to 250,000 is a real great sweet, sweet spot. Now between 10 and 25,000 is great as well. But anything up to 250,000 is your simplified acquisition procedures. Now, if you want to know how to do that, one of the things you can do is you have to be registered in sam.gov. Do not let sam.gov hang you up. Don't let that be the thing that stops you. I have so many videos on how to get registered. I take you step by step by step. So take the time to get registered with SAM.gov. Now, if you're registered with SAM.gov, you could do the simplified acquisition procedure. Once again, this SAP procedure is a big payoff with small investment. Contracting officers must, so there's a must there. Sometimes there's a shall, but there's a must. They must use small businesses. They call them small businesses, small business concerns. That doesn't mean you have to be a woman owned. You don't have to be a veteran. You don't have to be any of those 8A. You're just a small business. And they look at a small business with any businesses that are under the threshold for what they are actually required. They can't make more of their annual size when it comes to per year. So I know for a lot of them, it's like 19500000 is usually what they consider a small business concern. Now, if you are a small business concern 
and you are making under that amount of money or you're looking for that amount of a contract, $250,000 and under, and you are looking at this contracting officer, what do they have to do? So let's go with step one. Step one, this contracting officer has, must award it to a small business concern. That's you. Step two, you do need to be registered in SAM.gov. So get busy being registered in SAM and getting your cage code and getting all that taken care of. Boom, 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 boom. Step three, they're looking for best value, not necessarily the lowest cost. So remember, I've talked so many times before, what do you want to offer? Who is your buyer? The contracting officer must go into SAM and use a vendor out of SAM.gov. That's why you want to make sure you're registered in SAM. What is the next thing they're going to do? They're going to go to your website and take a look at that. And they're going to look for your capability statement to be able to be downloaded. And then they are going to look at offering you along with normally two other companies. So there's a total of three. So three companies, they get to decide best value. And best value is a combination of cost, quality, and sustainability. That's what they consider. Not This is what they call a non-cost factor. So this is where I talk about your offer, who is your buyer, and your transformation statement. What are you giving as far as best value in the part of the quantity? I mean, I'm sorry, the quality, the quality of what you're providing. So remember, I said it doesn't mean lowest cost when they are looking at simplified acquisition procedures. This is anything under 250000 Now, the great thing is this can be used with the disaster relief contract. You can build this relationship with this contracting officer where they use you for a lot of disaster relief contracts in your area because you're a vendor in SAMS and you're looking to do that 250000 and under. The vehicle you're going to use is simplified acquisition procedures on top of the disaster relief contracts. You marry those together and it is happening. So that's what we want to look at. The other thing is if you're looking at doing the middleman method strategy, then that $250,000 threshold works there as well. Now, this is the key. You want to make sure that you figure out what agency you want to work with. And then you want to Google simplified acquisition contacts. Simplified acquisition contacts. Get a list of those contacts. Yes, you do. And send them your what? Your introduction letter. That's right. Send them your introduction letter and make sure that you do the three things I talked about. Let's talk about what you yourself, you, you're personally introducing yourself as the president CEO of your company, what it is that's so great about your company, that, you know, how long you've been in business, make sure you put your strengths there, play down your weaknesses. If you haven't been in business long, then don't talk about that. Maybe talk about the experience. The last thing is that transformation system or the transformation statement. What is the best value that you're bringing? Simply Google. And now you are looking for the agency with the simplified acquisition contacts. They're the ones that can make that decision. Reach out to them. They're going to have their names. I've seen the names, email address, Google it, find the agency, simplified acquisition contacts, build their relationship, send your introduction letter in, and of all of everything, make sure you work on that value. Best value is a non-factor when it comes to cost. Non-factor. It's all about cost and the quantity or the quality, the quality and, 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 and they look at the sustainability. Can this, can this, you know, can they continue to use this again and again, meaning your services, your products, how long are you, because they like building relationships, not a one and done. They want to make sure they build the relationships. So those are the things that I personally did. We've had people do this time and time again. Offer, buyer, transformation, vehicle. Your vehicle is disaster relief contracts through simplified acquisition procedure. Middleman method through simplified acquisition procedure. Or you're looking at doing a contract as an independent contractor, leaving your nine to five, 
offering training where you're teaching people how to do software, you work with an agency, and you're looking at getting either a micro purchase, ten thousand dollars and under, through that micro with when it comes to that P card with the government purchase card, they call it a P card, or you're looking at doing that simplified acquisition procedure for yourself, working through yourself as an independent contractor, or you can do as a reseller. You can actually do a like I said, gloves or envelopes or something like that, and actually look at the thresh the micro purchase threshold up 10,000 under being a reseller for something the government needs. Now I know I just looked up one right now today and one of the ones they were looking for was, let me see, I think it was boxed, let me find it here, the one, oh, boxed bottled water, boxed and bottled water, I'm sorry, boxed and bottled water was one of the things they were looking for when it came to a threshold, a micro purchase box and bottled water they were looking for these with disaster relief contracts in various states another thing was they were looking for commercial and reduced sodium mills commercial and reduced sodium mills so google this find out if you can find if you're looking to do resale which is what this is find and see if you can find some vendor that you may be able to work with. Maybe their prices are lower and you'll be able to work with them to provide these. And these were actually disaster relief contracts. Now, I know I threw a lot out at you because I wanted you to be able to understand that there are a lot of small investments, big payouts in government through various vehicles. And I talk about vehicles all the time because when you can nail down one or two things, you just continue to rinse and repeat again and again and again. And so when we understand that transformational statement that we're going to provide to the agency, that agency will do everything to work with us again and again and again, whereas we're being able to provide them everything they need with little risk, and they love that. So if you'd like to know more in so much more detail, I always say this is high level. If you want eye level, then you know what you can do. Click the link to actually come to my free masterclass where I go into the three ways you can do disaster relief. I talk about the reseller, the middleman method, and so much more. I would love to see you there. Space is limited because we work very, very, very closely answering a lot of questions. So click the link. I look forward to seeing you there. And until next time, be safe and take care. Bye-bye.